is freezing. I don't know when that happened. I think I got knocked out and my cold mirror went down to nothing. If anything, just standing there, I was warming up. Um, I have simple, perfect Hello? Good clothing. Anyone here? This place looks like it's been empty for a while. Looks like there's blood all in here, man. Seems like oh, the cables. Damage here. Must be what the old guy meant about it stable. Nineteen sixty smog, electric dam on the Carter River, yada yada. Okay. Alright, well I'm just gonna look through some of the stuff here. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Leave it. end up being useful. Uh, well, Duke, let me see, can I wear that with this scarf? I can. That looks cute. Um, I just realized it has the recycling sign there. First place I would expect. Where's Hacksaw to break down for any scrap metals? One may need. Alright. I'm gonna find a candy bar in one of these lockers. That'll come in handy. Candy bar locker. use this. Small tragedy seeing that guy there. Looks like this thing isn't opening unless I can get the power working again. Oh, okay. Well, that's a problem for later. I have to get uh, parts. Very 
radio parts. Is that what we're here for? I'm sure it's coming as a surprise to you, but ever since you sent my activity on that, then almost possible to run Carter Dam profitably. Besides that, the recent echo activism, or at least that's called what it is, terrorism has introduced new risk. This will come in handy. Candy bar. So many candy bars lying around. I really wish the world did have candy bars just strewn about like such. Hope nobody needs this anymore. And there's some real heavy duty banging sounds flopping around this place. Oh wait, space bar. I was like trying to remember what button it was. Oh, that really quenched my thirst. Excellent. New beef jerky. Yeah. heavy. And that's why I was just going to drop it off in here. Honestly. the ad 
and key. All right. Calling elevator won't work. So I have radio birds on me, mind you. That's probably helpful. No, no. Come on, man. Don't be dense. Search drawer. Thank goodness. upstairs then although I have doubts that I'll be able to even It'd end up being useful get upstairs mind you anymore. Just what I need. Talkers were 
Does it go to the left first? Oh. Oh, I could pick this lock. Oh, what is that? Like 30 something? Okay. Alright. 30. the key right on the table. Whoops. Okay. I am glad I uh, got an electric dam to get the act of acting up. If you get stuck, it'll be a long while before you get back to the control room. Okay.
Like if I didn't have that light, I wouldn't have seen that key on the table. Decent running shoes. Warm light shot, interesting. Might be good against the uh the element sets for sure. Alright. Couple more desks left. Nuts and stuff. I left the bedroll right here. <laughs> Probably gonna sleep here. Yep. Here. 
He ain't gonna fuck with me, that's for sure. Um, let's put in the rest of the bullets I found. Nice. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? I dropped some of my venison. Why is there even a button for that? So far, I like this game. It's uh, kind of got its own personality to it. Uh, the only thing I could think of possibly to change with the game would be to be able to eat or drink while you're walking. But, I don't know, maybe that would be too much like Minecraft, where you can eat a pork chop while walking, you know? Totally unrealistic, everybody.
It's not that accurate. I'm not that accurate. I don't know. It does this thing, watch, when you hold still. Let's see. Dude gets drunker and drunker. Weird, huh? <laughs> Rabbits do not scream like that. That is some game developer. Should read that. Six 
should be okay here. Gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while. But it'll help. You need some time to recover. I don't know if I'm feeling funny, but. You don't have time. You need to get a message out. It's important. Wow. You mean with the FBI asking for medical help? Never mind.
shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe. A little bit of a radio. It's not like any surplus I've ever seen. It's not a surplus. Busted up, like you said. Mm -hmm. the place was cracked open by the quake years ago, never recovered. It's already half dead at the time. Okay. Meaning? The dam dates back to the 60s. Industrialists from the mainland wanted to use it to power a mining town he was planning to build. I swear to God, if that is some David Hater voicing him, it should be. Tried to get it running again in the 80s, but then the forest talkers got involved. And that was the end of it. So, the forest talkers are those eco terrorists. I'm pretty sure the quakes finished. The <coughs> yeah, who are those? So, who are the forest talkers? Eco terrorists, activists, I'll call them. Depends on who you talk to, I guess. Why are they out here? Mostly here to throw a wrench in the works for a variety of Oh, there's ammo right on the mining. bench. Whoa. They want Great Bear to remain a pristine wilderness. You don't sound like you agree. Well, I've no love for industry. But this is the way of the world. Yeah. Damn, I'd say the forest talkers are still out. <coughs> what? Ah, that's good news for you. Keep your eyes open for supply caches they might have left behind. Can you tell me anything about where we are? Well, this whole area takes its name from Mystery Lake nearby. It's kind of a wilderness preserve. You wouldn't know it from the logging trucks. Some lake cabins that'll be locked up for the season. I've already seen the dam. Railroad passes through the area. Trains come through once in a while. Fewer every year. None gonna be soon. Most of the year. You sound like you like it that way. I sure do. So, are all the people living out there? destroyed Great Bear. There's nothing here to stay for. Well, there's... Anyone out here? Chances are they're hiding from something. From someone. You? Why are you here? That's a question. I have my reasons. Hmm. What's this unfinished business between you and the bear? Someone important. A woman. 
She may have passed through here a few days ago. She might have been injured. What makes you think she came through here? What's with the beard with the three ponytails? I'm just realizing. Yeah, it's kind of weird there. looking. Then. I'm not sure. Well, the roads from Milton don't meet this way. Wherever she's headed, you'll have to cross the mountains to find her. Yeah. Not an easy path. Okay. Even for the most experienced outdoorsman. I'm not even. I'll do whatever it takes. I won't get far with that bear on the prowl. What we need is to get my radio up and running so we can find her. I just realized going the five pound mountain near rope, I can finally get rid of that for a bit. You know, I probably could have gotten rid of that out there sooner. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. On her way to. You know what? Yeah. Shit, nothing town, north part of the island. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. We were on our way there. My passenger and I. And it crashed. I need to find a way to get there. Or contact her. See if she's alright. Sure she's alive. Oh, right. Yeah. The plane went down because of the energy. Died out. I'm guessing power outs everywhere. The whole area's been damn quiet since there's lights in the sky. Even wildlife's acting strange. Hmm. I might have an idea. That's strange. What do you mean, the wildlife's acting strange? <laughs> you live out here long enough, you get a sense for the patterns of nature. Yeah. Aren't behaving the way they should. Huh. It's like her or spooked or something. Not spooked. Changed somehow. The best way I can say it is things don't feel right. Okay, well, any smart ideas? Idea. What do you have? <gasps> well, it's a long shot. <laughs> I'm listening. The short way I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how do we get the radio working? The reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. The energy's just all down. What about more parts? Another radio. We might find another radio. I think I have a better idea. The problem is, it's no use with the old bear out there. Survival is through that bear. We have to find a way to deal with him first. Just shoot him. Oh god, I'm ready. Okay. So we have to deal with the bear. If you're half dead, the rifle shots don't seem to do much. So that's because the old bear is special. He's a lot of bears. Uh, but I've never encountered anything quite like him. A special bear like that. Yeah. That special magic to bring him down. Magic. Uh, magic? <laughs> don't worry. I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic. I mean the old knowledge. The old ways. What do you have in mind? There's an old story. A local legend. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family had been traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. Old voyager stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. He wanders off, and Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips in. Delirious. She screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. A week later, a hired hand goes missing. And they find him. Just a body. Ravaged. 
Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. Spence gets the men together for a hunting party. They go out into the muskeg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Something big. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. Story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just looks away. Blades made of stone. They call it the demon bear after that. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her. Killing her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. Yeah. No rifles don't work. So he forges a spear. Like a boar spear, but bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the bus game. The spear's pretty good because it can use their weight against them. That makes sense. His wife's feet are breaks. Nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him. And they find him. Ooh. dead. Blood all over him. Body torn almost in two. thing he says is spear stole the bear's soul but my wife is now free and it's gone so <sighs> killed the bear interesting he knows never found the carcass well they buried Spence took the spear back and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead I oh. saw that bear Years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. So, do you believe it? The story of the demon bear? Spear stealing its soul? <laughs> of course not. I, I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. The old stories sometimes have truth in them. The spear would be good. Spence might have been superstitious. He had the right idea. Ten inches of cold, hard steel might do what a bullet can't. <sighs> I'm convinced. Ten spear inches, I... That bear. <laughs> we need to get Spence's bear-killing spear if we're going to survive the winter. The old hunting lodge is still there. A couple of days' journey <laughs> south. Mm. Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg. Oh. Find it. If the spear's there, get it. Okay. Find the rest of it. That makes sense. You deal with the bear. Radio's fucked, man. Radio. Yeah. <laughs> now. Oh, let me rest. Where people think that an EMP destroys all electronics like Thank you. 
delicious. There's no bed here, yo. Okay, wow. Well. Oh god, my arm is still broken. What the hell did I leave this right there? back.
Well, that's pretty much about it. While I make this journey over there, I'm just gonna... Oh, look at that. I'm just gonna bid uh, a fun to to uh, those of you watching this. And um, when you come back, hopefully I'll be a lot closer to getting to the spear. Yeah.